Hello YouTube, this is Captain Ball again and I'm here for you with a very special shotgun today. It's a double shotgun with flintlock ink edition. I have been waiting for this shotgun for a long time, for a very long time. You know, I'm a hunter and I'm a target shooter as well, but not really a clay target shooter, but I have always fascinated with the people who are shooting the clay target shooting competitions. MLA, I see clay target shooting competitions with flintlocks because, I mean, that's the art. That's the real art of clay target shooting. I'm pretty sure about it. So ladies and gentlemen, finally we have a reproduction 20 gauge shotgun with flintlock ignition for hunting and for clay target shootings as well. But let's check the specifications of this shotgun first. The 20 gauge shotgun was always among the most elegant small game guns as it tells a lot about the sportsman. Much more practice is needed to be successful compared to a popular 12 gauge. Now top it with a flintlock ignition and you can easily state that shooting clay or birds just cannot get harder. Pedersoli's new Repro resembles the European double shotguns of the late 18th century. Pure noble elegance it is with its straight oiled American walnut stock and pistol grip Tiger guard. The shotgun comes with a not so contemporary sling swivel that shout for a replacement, but this is the only negative feedback I can find on this beauty. The 700mm 20 gauge chrome lined bores will serve you well, they will resist rust and they will be easy to clean. The weight of the shotgun is 3.5 kg, light enough to be carried all day long on a long hunt. The left bore is cylinder and the right has a modified choke, so it can be used on muzzle loading clay target shooting competitions just as well as for hunting. Pedersoli paid a lot of attention to keep the 18th century look, so with the classic engravings of the metal parts they introduced the traditional checkering of the grips also. The barrels are rust brown, enhancing the elegant lines of this beauty. Part of the engraving is made by laser, but the small nuts and bits are hand engraved. I mean, this shotgun has a beautiful balance. Just see where the center of gravity is. <laughs> just, just excellent. Developing a load for your muzzle loading shotgun is not an easy task. First listen to the recommendations of the manufacturer, then start fine tuning your load. Powder weight and granulation, material and thickness of the over powder bed, shot size and weight, material and thickness of the over shot bed will all have an effect on your pattern. The best load I found so far for clay target shooting was 72 grains of 2F Swiss powder, half centimeter thick felt wed, 32 grams of 2.5 mm shot and a 2 mm carton as over powder wed. With this load I was able to get just as good shot patterns at 30 meters as with any of the best modern shotguns and cartridges. This thing was missed from the market for a, such a long time and finally it's here. So ladies and gentlemen, after checking its specifications, why don't we hit the range and see how it can destroy some clay targets. <laughs> Let's talk a bit about what are the key elements of a fast flintlock ignition. First of all, you need a good lock. It must have a very good ergonomy. The tension between the force of the frizzing spring and the main spring is essential.
it must must have the right balance the tempering of the frizzen and the angle of the frizzen must be perfect if it's not it will not create enough sparks the stone the length of the stone and the sharpness of the stone must be perfect as well so you have to learn exactly especially how to sharpen your flint when it, it uh, will get blunt it is also important to have the touch hole at the right position just in the middle of the pan you have to learn how to place the priming powder in the pan always use the outer two-thirds of the pan never put powder into the touch hole because it is going to slow down the ignition it is also important to understand that you need a very very fine grade black powder my choice for this job is the swiss zero b which is the fastest burning powder available it's much better than 4f but if you're a hunter then stay with 4f because the zero b can fall out of the pan the closed pan which is not really happy when you want to shoot a game and the gun will not fire altogether i have to say that all these elements must be perfectly supervised to have a fast flint lock ignition which is especially important when you're shooting moving target like when you're shooting clay targets Remember, never add too much priming powder and never push it into the touch hole. So ladies and gentlemen, although I'm not a clay target shooter, I have to say that this flintlock shotgun just made me very happy. I mean, it is fun to handle it, it is fun to shoot it, and, and yes, you can hit the clay target with it. Even if I could do it, then you can do it as well. You, you can be sure about it. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for your attention. If you like what I do, then please do not forget to hit the subscribe button down there. If you wish and if you can, then you can also support me on Patreon. You can find the link below this video. So ladies and gentlemen, I will take this shotgun next time to hunt some small game. Until next time, stay cool and keep your powder dry.